And John Rahm is wondering if he's walking to the last hole here to be crowned a U.S. Open champion in a little bit. Who knows? He's got a challenging third shot upcoming here on the easiest hole in this championship. And it's the easiest finishing hole in U.S. Open history in a championship that goes back to 1895. The field has played it a combined 161 under par. So Rom is trying to figure out to get his birdie at least out of this. If he's on the down slope, he's got his hands full. If it's more level than I think Woody, he's got hope. Yeah, Zinger, it's just on a down slope. I think it was if it was flat, he could go right at the hole. I kind of think he might go up to the right here and try and use this slope a little bit. It'll kill it a little bit, take some speed off it, and maybe just die a hair left. That's where he's looking. He's a marvelous bunker player. You know, he can take a chance if he wants to and put the flag, but he's not going to do it. Look. Wow. Well, I don't blame him. I mean, that ball on line with the flag could have chased all the way down into the pond. So now he's got a, you know, a bit of a long shot for a birdie here, and he, maybe he's opened the door up for Ustazen behind him. Ustazen still has a few holes to get through here before he gets to this easiest hole. So it'll be interesting to see what this hole costs Rom in the end. Everything just goes down towards the water. Hit a beautiful flop. It's as close as he intended to get it. He's asking for it to get. He wanted a slope to bring it down there. He knows what the screen is all about. He made that eagle to put away his first PGA Tour event here at this tournament. John Rom for birdie. How big this is. From 18 feet. It's similar to the putt he just made at 17. He keeps his head still this time. Pretty big one made here 13 years ago. Absolutely. On Sunday. That was to get into a playoff. We'll see. First of all, this goes in and what it means. Sergio Garcia, the last to do it at the Masters, and is John Rahm in line to join him? <laughs> Biggest up and down of his career from that bunker shot. Challenging. He didn't want to take the gamble. Didn't want to play himself out of the championship. There are three generations of Rahms here. His father, Adorta. And there is his little son, Keppa, with his wife, Kelly. Congratulations. Not Father's Day in Spain, Father's Day here. And John Rahm is hoping to celebrate with his father. His mother, Aniel, is also here. And again, going through all he did with COVID. And the last time he teed it up, there's no better feeling than what John Rahm is feeling right now. A little Kepa in his arms, his wife Kelly, hoping that he is a major champion for the first time. 